Yo, what's going on you guys? This is your boy Haba, Nick or Nahaba, and I'm bringing you a brand new video here today. And in this one, we are back in my studio. As you can see, totally different location. So that's the cool part. The shitty part is my fiance is still in France and we don't know when the when she's gonna be able to come here and that's not fun for anyone but uh in this video as you see i'm not wearing the headphones the big floppers are out and uh i'm gonna be cooking up on my monitors because i haven't really been able to do that in the past three months so i miss them a bit before we get into it please leave a like on the video if you do enjoy please subscribe stick around for the journey to eight trillion subscribers we are currently at 260 and I think the last video I recorded we were at like 230 or 240 uh because I haven't I recorded a bunch of videos on one day um and I just want to say thank you guys so much like that's so amazing I've had three straight videos now hit over 100 views which is like just mind-blowing to me it's really dope that you guys are rocking with me and uh, I'm gonna continue to hopefully provide very hopeful hopeful helpful and uh cool entertaining content for you guys um as we keep this show going with all that said we're gonna hop straight into this so first thing i'm gonna do is i don't really know what we're gonna be making today so i'm gonna pull up an omnisphere and we are just gonna do that thing that i do and pull up a piano oh Alright, so I am in the uh, F sharp minor scale here. I'm gonna drop down my BPM to like 120 and I'm just gonna start making a melody. We're gonna start with chords. So I like my root notes, so what I'm doing now is I'm just clicking in the uh, upper notes and I know what notes go in this chord because if you look, uh, you want to do every other gray note. So I'm just not going to G sharp and I'm going to A. And I'm just doing that and I'm adding the fourth note. Uh, just because I typically like it. And if I don't like it, then I can change it. Alright, so I actually don't like that. So we're going to just go back and uh, try to find new chords. So I like these for uh, new chords, just going down. So I highlighted all my notes and I'm gonna press Alt S and that's gonna strumize them. So now that I have my chords, uh, I'm gonna start working on a top melody. And uh, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna make, but hopefully it's something catchy and cool. So I pitched down my melody into the uh, D sharp minor scale and I kind of like how this is sounding better. Okay, so I just added all these top notes here. I don't know why, I just had the urge to do it and I'm really liking how that sounds. So yeah, this is what we're going with. So I'm gonna press Alt-R to randomize all my velocities here. And then I'm gonna bring them all down and touch by highlighting them all and then holding Alt and scrolling down on my uh, mouse, mouse wheel. So now I'm going to duplicate this melody over by holding control and pressing B. 
And then I'm going to come in here and just add a little variation so it's not the same exact things for the full eight bars. All right, so I added some slight variation there with uh, these notes and I added a little flick here and then I did this little thing here and if you uh, right click on the velocities or hold down your right click on your mouse on the velocities you can like adjust them like that and they'll stay in like a uh, perfect ratio. I don't know if that's the right word. You get what I mean? Like they'll all kind of relatively stay the same. So this is what it sounds like now. So I like this for my main melody. I'm going to just throw this on the mixer and add some effects really quick. So first thing I'm going to add is this uh, crystallizer here. And I realize my webcam is blocking this. Uh, but it's this crystallizer and then all I'm doing is pulling down this uh, knob here to about 20% on the mix level and that's what this sounds like. So it adds that nice kind of like reverse feel sort of in the background but it's kind of like a delay at the same time. And uh, I just like to turn down the mix level because I like that to be kind of like ear candy. It makes the melody sound a lot more full in my opinion. And uh, that's one of my go-to plugins on like melody effects. Um, so now that I have that, I'm also going to add an RC20. You guys have seen me use this a ton of times. I like using Vinyl 3 and I turn off the noise and I turn down the distortion and I uh, adjust the EQ down here. I change the cut mode and then I just bring up this up to like 96 or something and uh i normally turn down the tone thing here but this is what that'll sound so now that i have rc i also like to add a valhalla and i like to turn up the low cut on the reverb because i don't want the really low frequencies to get in there and then um, I'm going to swap this to 1980s because it looks cool and I feel like doing it. And then I also turn this down with the mix knob. I adjust how much reverb I want to have on there. It doesn't take much to uh, get the effect that I'm going for. So I like the piano melody now. Um, so now that we have it, uh, I'm gonna just layer it with other things. So I'm gonna open up the uh, Evolution Strawberry guitar here and see if I can find a nice like top melody, counter melody I can uh, add with this. I don't know if I can, cause there's a lot going on with the piano, but I'm just gonna try it out and see if I find anything I like. I really like this uh, ambience mode here. I don't know why, it just sounds like so clean. So now I'm gonna come in here and just see if there's any points I can emphasize or maybe add a cool little pattern. All right, so I added a part with the guitar. Uh, what I did is I copied my chords, but I kind of like moved them. Uh, so it's kind of like strumming them and that just emphasizes my chords a little bit more, but it also makes them a little more interesting. And then at the end of the first four bars, I added these two notes. And that's just to kind of pick it up into the next four. And uh, and then after that, I added these notes up top because I feel like they just fit well. And uh, I just swapped it up on this side and made it go down. And it's literally these same notes, uh, as you can see, if you look at your ghost notes. And I think it sounds good. I'm just going to randomize these velocities. So I added some reverb. I'm also gonna add some uh, RC20. I'm gonna go with the same vinyl preset. And I added, uh, I turned down the mix knob on the reverb just to that amount, about 33%. These are the settings for that, if you're curious. Uh, but I think this is sounding good. I think now, um, now I'm going to grab a pad from Omnisphere. And there is a hum, oh, what's it called? What is that pad called? Hum whistle pad. 
And this sounds really good uh, with piano melodies. So I'm just gonna paste my piano melody here and get rid of the top notes because I'm just gonna do the chord. So I'm gonna throw this on the mixer as well. So what I'm throwing on the pad for effects is wider. This is a free plugin. And then I'm also gonna throw Pan Man and I just turned down the width and turned up the smoothing to more soft and then turned up the rate a little bit. And then I'm gonna turn this so it goes left to right like that. So now that I have this, uh, I'm gonna grab the Growler Moog bass because I know it goes well uh, with these sounds. So I'm just gonna use my knowledge on that and uh, throw it on here. So I'm gonna do that for a uh, pattern, nice and simple. So now that I have this, uh, I'm just gonna mix out that sub bass as well really quick. And by mix out, all I mean is just adjust the, uh, the levels. All right, so now that my melody is all mixed out, I'm gonna throw it onto the playlist here and I'm gonna start adding drums. I'm gonna start with a clap. It's uh, pretty typical, gonna throw it on those, duplicate it over. Nope, this is not a club record. So I grabbed a hi-hat. Uh, now I'm gonna add some rolls and just some cool little things to it. So I like that pattern. I'm gonna just press Control L to make all my notes touch each other and then delete the second half and press Control B to duplicate it over and then Control D to deselect what I had selected and then Shift D to shorten the notes back again. So now I'm grabbing my 808. So uh, I'm gonna, I always right click and do cut self. And uh, I'm gonna turn it down because I know this one's loud. It's already boosted. Uh, so I'm gonna go into the piano roll and all you gotta do to make sure your 808s are in key is just follow your root notes and it will sound good, I promise. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start making a pattern now. So I like this as a pattern. It's uh, pretty simple, but I think that's good because my melody has a lot going on. So you don't want to overcomplicate the drums. You just want to complement the melody with them. So this is what I got. So I added this cool little like that part by uh, just doing like really small notes. And then like I showed you with the right click earlier, uh, just right clicking on where they're at on the velocity scale, velocity thing here. And uh, just doing it so it goes that way. Oh, I guess on there, be that way. So it goes up. <laughs> You get that effect and I really like that effect. I think it sounds good. Uh, so now that I got an 808, I'm going to grab a kick and I'm gonna do something kind of different with the kick. I don't, like this is a new technique I've been learning uh, from Monty Booker. Um, super dope producer and I feel like a bum for not knowing about him sooner. Uh, but I've been watching like clips from his Twitch stream and he was breaking down a beat and he was sh uh, showing off this uh, tool here, the shift tool. And he says he always uses this on like his kicks and his 808s uh, to make them slightly off from each other. And uh, I tried it out earlier and I kind of like the vibe and like, I feel like it makes the kick more punchy and kind of like hit harder with the 808 by doing this. Um, you guys let me know what you think down below. I might be 
totally dumb and it might not have that effect uh but i don't know it's just something different and uh it kind of spices things up so i'm just gonna adjust this shift knob a little bit until i like how it sounds on the kick Uh, I think that sounds good. And I grabbed an open hat as well. And now that I have all these sounds, I like where my drums are at. So I'm just gonna mix these out and then lay out the beat. So I'm happy with this mix. So I'm gonna throw my uh, master on it. And that's just a fruity parametric EQ one with the lows, mids and highs boosted just a touch. And then a fruity soft clipper default settings. So now that we have that, uh, I'm gonna start mixing out this beat. And I know I'm about to cut here and basically cut until the end, but before I do that, I always like to start by uh, dragging everything out, making it eight bars, selecting it all, and duplicating it over a bunch of times by pressing uh, Control B. And now I'm gonna start laying it out. All right, so I've got the whole beat laid out here. Uh, what I did is I adjusted the piano melody here in the beginning. I click this and click uh, Make Unique. And what I did is I took out my top melody. So it's the original melody I had, the more like calm one. And I left that with just the pad. And then I brought in the sub bass on the, uh, for kind of like the intro. And then I brought in all my drums uh, with the sub bass and I brought in the guitar, but dropped the pad. And this is my hook here. Uh, and then I brought in the 808 for the second eight of the hook with uh, the pad, no sub bass, yada, yada. And then it's gonna break down into the verse. And uh, and then this is the bridge, and then I just repeated it. So now that I kind of explained uh, what each part is, you know, I added like little breaks here by just cutting, so it ends on the clap. That's a nice effect to go into a verse. I added this by just cutting here, and then right click cutting here. And that's another nice effect to add a little break in the verse. I'm gonna let you guys hear the full beat now. Um, without further ado, this is your boy Nick Haba or Nahaba. And if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, consider subscribing, comment down below. Let me know what you guys wanna see from me in the future. But now that I got that out of the way, here's the final beat and I'm gonna get out of here. So,